Hello everybody, this is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and today we are going to be doing a product demo uh, with a Hikvision DS7600 series plug and play 4K NVR um, in a 2 megapixel IP Hikvision dome. Um, this is a plug and play process with these recorders. Um, you're simply going to mount this camera, run a CAT6 cable from the camera location to the back of this recorder um, and it's going to work beautifully for you. Before we get into this, please like our page, um, subscribe if you like our content so you can get future content, um, and give us comments. That's important us, to us as well. Okay, let's dive into it now. Okay, we have unboxed the product. Um, if you look on your screen at the top of your screen, you will see a link to the unboxing of this NVR, um, and we cover it in detail. Um, so if you need to reference that, you can. Um, but as stated, you just mount this camera where, wherever you want it. Um, once it's mounted, you would run a, sex, a CAT6 cable from the camera location um, to the back of the NVR. And in that product review, we covered the PoE switch that's on the back of this NVR. And we want to wire this camera, because it's camera one, into the number one port in the PoE plug. Okay, um, once that's done, we'll turn this NVR on and it is going to auto configure the camera. Okay, it's plug and play. Um, we're going to switch over to the monitor and show you that now. Okay, friends, we have powered up the NVR. Um, it's going to ask our language and we are in the USA, so we're going to type English. Um, being that it's the first time that we are using this recorder, it's going to ask you to create an administrative password. Okay, you're going to have to enter this and then verify it. So we're going to head, go ahead and do that now. Alright, we have input our password and you know what time it is friends. This is the meat and potatoes of the demonstration. We're going to click OK here. Um, it says the device is activated. Properly keep your password, which you want to do. You want to remember the administrative password you just entered. It's asking if we want to export the GUID file for password resetting. We're going to type no here. Um, up top of this, this video, you will see a link um, that instructs you how to reset your password in the event you forget it. Okay? This is very complex and questionably secure. So we don't want to do this. We want to put no here. And it's going to ask for a reserve email um, for your account, which again goes to the GUID backup. Um, we're not going to do that. So you're going to hit cancel. And if you reference that previous link, it will show you what to do in the event you forget your password. You don't need to give up your information here. So we're going to hit cancel here. Um, draw the unlock pattern. Okay, if you want an unlock pattern like you do on your cell phone, you can do a Z or a 7 or a T, whatever you want. This is where you enable that. Okay, if you don't want to do it, which I don't, you just right click. Okay, and it's going to ask you if you want to start the device wizard every time the recorder starts up. I would say no to that, it's annoying. And then hit exit, and we'll exit the wizard. And there you will see our camera. We didn't do anything, we plugged it in, uh, we mounted it on the wall, we ran the CAT6 cable to the recorder, we plugged the CAT6 cable into the PoE port in the back of the recorder, and voila! Look at that beautiful picture. This is a 2 megapixel dome. This is what you'd want for your house. If you're going to put it outside and uh, try to get capture license plates and stuff like that in your driveway, you'd probably want a 4 megapixel. Um, but for the inside too, it's fine. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, like our video if you enjoyed the content. Please subscribe um, so you get notified when we have future videos. And we will see you in the field.